what up YouTube so today is gonna be part four of the Acura RSX base model k24 to six-speed uh, manual conversion and uh, today we are going to be basically going over what we had to do to get this thing finished so um, let's start with the subframe so we went to the RSX type S subframe and we did the brakes as well so we upgraded the brakes to the 0506 type S uh, brakes with uh, the brake booster and the uh, proportioning valve were all swapped over and we upgraded our slider to the um, I guess just the upgraded version and it basically eliminates the bump stop uh, the RVC manifold is upgraded to a K24 RBB3 JDM motor from JDM Redline and um, the transmission is a 6B from 02 to 04 with the O. 2 to 04 conversion to 0506 um, which is pretty much as we're running K tuner on here this is an 0506 car so we just jumped the wires back so on this one you just use the 02 to 04 wiring diagram and on the computer you on the transmission it'll say 02 to 04 you just check the box and it'll read and reverse or before um, also the belt we did have to get a different one so you just use a TSX belt um, we got an 04 CRV post bracket for the uh, engine mount in the back. Um, all the mounts were replaced, uh, stock factory, uh, except for this. We did use the Hasport conversion mount, um, and you still keep the automatic mount as far as that. So this, they have an upgraded version too, where you can use a billet mount. But this car wanted, we wanted to feel more stock. Um, so as far as the motor the 50 degree was changed, but the oil pump was uh, Still factory so Still has that um, AEM intake for now. We tried to use the Mugen box, but it wasn't working um, We still have stock factory exhaust. We did try to put type R headers on here, but they didn't work uh, The fitment was just sitting too high uh, As far as throttle body the base model won't work because the adapter hits the throttle bodies on the opposite side So it hits so we went to the type s one and we use the type s throttle cable bracket with cables so that's what i changed as far as that um other than that yeah we use this type s pedals you can use base model pedals as well um we have a type s cluster in here so it looks all factory um yeah just pretty much it's all stock looking you wouldn't really be able to tell unless someone really told you that this car was converted over which is kind of an upgrade as well because this isn't the type s motor it's a k24 with more torque and this does have a wave track lsd installed so other than that um we're gonna get this thing started up and then we'll come back and start taking it for a test drive make sure everything's good before we send it out to the customer all right guys so we're back now and uh we're about to get ready to take this thing for a test drive um now this does have uh, stock exhaust, so it is kind of getting held back right now. Um, the base model exhaust is very restrictive, so um, yeah, that still needs to be upgraded. It was supposed to be a Type R with Type S piping and everything, but um, the Type R header just wasn't clearing and giving us issues, so um, it's not going to be as uh, powerful as it could be right now. It's kind of restricted. And it's just on a base map tune right now, so um, we'll see how it feels. We let the car warm up right now. Um, yeah, but it's pretty much ready. Everything's done. I mean, you would really barely be able to tell this is a, a actual base model automatic car. So show you guys the pedals. Yeah, so come fully converted um, K24 RBB3 motor, RBC intake manifold with spacer, RSX Type S throttle body, wave track LSD, 02 to 04 uh, Type S transmission. Uh, the cool thing why I like K Tuner, uh, K Tuner can actually read 05, 06, and it can go back to 02 to 04, which we did on this car. Um, one thing you do have to do, it'll only read um at the ecu the output it can't put the output uh for the 0204 to the cluster so i did have to rewire so what i did was take the wire from uh, a18 which is the wire that goes directly from the speed sensor 
to the computer and I tapped off of that. So that even though that wire goes into the ECU and reads um, CSS, um, um, it still doesn't output because uh, 0204 has another wire that jumps that goes to the cluster. It's kind of weird. It, it took me a minute to figure out, but it makes sense if you uh, understand. K-Tuner didn't really explain it too good. I was doing a lot of research on it. So just jump A18 um, and I cut the wire off from um, the output speed sensor. So the output speed sensor is actually on the E-plug instead of uh, on 0204 it's actually on the c101 so you take the output wire from the uh, a18 and you split you basically tee off of that and you bring it over to the um, e plug wire which is going to the cluster and that'll give you the reading for the actual gauge cluster so um if anybody needs help with that just let me know i know it's kind of confusing but um yeah, a lot of people probably haven't really done this type of a setup before. I mean, I was looking for an 0506 transmission. I just couldn't find one. Um, and I wanted to get this project on the way going. So, uh, like I said, it doesn't really it doesn't really affect anything. You just have to do one wire and that's it. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to let this thing warm up so we can, you know, get everything going good with VTEC. And then uh, we'll come back and see how this car runs. Alright guys, so we're on the road and um, everything seems to be good and smooth. No check engine lights, no overheating, ABS is off. Uh, we did have to change those sensors. We were using the stock ones from the base model and those are actually longer than the Type S. So um, there is a difference as far as that when we change the spindles over. Um, so yeah, that light is cleared out. Uh, this is the third time we've actually had to do this transmission because uh, the, f the one that we had was just fried before I mean second gear would just literally keep popping out so uh, this is a whole new transmission test driving it right now so I'm heading over the camera so we can test drive a little bit better um, with this exhaust it does feel a little bit restrictive so Back, but the torque is very, you know, really good on third and fourth gear, so it pulls really strong. 